Hey guys, welcome to another tech tip video. We are going to be going over gas in this video and how to adjust your gas price based on certain situations. So let's get into it. Imagine I want to stake some hypercycle here. I have uh, X amount of hypercycle. Of course, I'm going to have to go ahead and approve this spending cap, this transaction. So let's go ahead and do that so I can show you guys the next step. And get into this okay so that approved rather quickly let's go ahead and stake this so i can show you guys the next step right here it's going to pull up my metamask i'm going to pull this down here and you'll notice a couple of things first off it says the network is busy now that's strange because it's been saying that no matter what lately i don't know if it's just like one of those things where like curbing your expectations to show you like the network's busy or whatever but that's basically what it's been doing i'm gonna go ahead and reject this transaction because i want to show you something really quickly first over here you can check gas fee prices on etherscan just by checking in uh, typing in gas fee tracker it'll pull this up here you can always watch the gas prices and stuff and see what's high or low under 20 generally is a pretty good time to do a transaction even 30 is okay ish and it'll tell you exactly kind of what these types of transactions should cost when you're doing these types of things. Okay, let's go back over here. We're going to go ahead and hit stake again, and we're going to go max. Now, we've already approved that amount, so it's not going to ask us to approve this amount again. But we are going to see this thing here. So, when we are passing uh, the site-suggested gas fee over to MetaMask, what MetaMask is doing is it's going and checking out the contract, seeing how complex it is, and it's assigning a gas fee based on that. And lately I've been noticing that these gas fees have not been enough. And so what happens is our transaction gets stuck or stalled out for multiple hours. I had one stuck for over three hours one time. So the number one thing that I've been doing over here when I'm uh, interacting with contracts, if it says site suggested, I'm gonna go through here and check this out. So right now the site suggested is 0.004 Ethereum for their gas price. I'm gonna go here and click on this. Now you'll notice that 0 0.004 is the low setting. We don't like that low setting. It just gets stuck sometimes and it causes a lot of problems. So we're always gonna go with the market setting here. So right here, there's an aggressive setting, a market setting and a low setting. This market setting has generally worked out really well for me. Um, the aggressive setting almost seems unnecessary and I don't ever use it. Even when I'm minting like an NFT or things like that, I'll go and adjust things um, like I'm going to show you here in a second, but I'll go and adjust things manually, but the market setting typically works for these types of transactions, including swaps, staking, approving trends, anything, anything, pretty much the market setting will work. Now, if I did want to go ahead and adjust gas, if I was doing su something super crazy, like here's where we can adjust this stuff. Now, I don't know why the priority fee is that high over here. This is super strange and this might be part of the problem, but this is a really high priority fee. Normally I'll see a priority fee of like point, point 0.5 or whatever point, actually point 0.05. See, that's normal. Okay. So that 30 priority fee is really strange. If I wanted to bump up my gas and do things manually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up to 90. That's going to bump that up to 0 0.01. We're not actually going to pay that much. And then we are going to bump the priority fee up to 1.5. This priority fee is what you're tipping the miner. That's the miner fee. And so what happens is a miner, a miner will see that and they'll take your transaction as a priority over somebody else's transaction. transaction. So they're going to take that and see, oh, I'm going to get paid more for this. I'm going to do this one on the block first, and then I'm going to do the next guys. So that's what's going to happen when you go ahead and adjust your fees uh, manually over here. And typically you won't need to change this gas limit or anything. So we're not going to save that because I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and go site suggested and we are going to go ahead and click market. Now notice a couple things. Right now it's 0.004 is the site suggested. When we click market, it's going to raise that up hardly at all. But you notice this raised this a negligible amount. But now I know this transaction is going to go through. The max fee changed to 0 0.00544 because that was the market transaction right here. If we go back to low, it's going to change that max fee to 0 0.004. Um, so this is anyway, so that's what's going to happen here. So always click market when you get into these things. And we don't want to use low gas. I never use low gas because if my transaction gets stuck, it's really annoying and frustrating. We're just going to hit market here and this transaction is going to go through. Okay. And that's going to be super easy to see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for dropping by this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech tip. If you want more tech tips just like this one, go ahead and go over to nickblacknext.com. 
where we have a whole library where we're setting these tech tips up and you can see all this information how to learn and do crypto transactions that are important for you guys to do on the blockchain and in and around the digital space thank you guys so much and we will see you in the next one